Good evening. I'd like to call to order our monthly meeting for the Town of McCandless Activities Advisory Committee on August 7th, 2023. We'll start out talking about Community Day. Unfortunately, we've had a couple of little changes. So one is a huge change. Uh, <laughs> we are not having a parade, which we were so excited about having. And now we are unable to have the parade. Uh, so that is really, really unfortunate. Um, they did start selling the, um, they have a limited number of booths, I had stated before, and different people are already uh, putting in that they want the, the booths. So that's nice. At least we've gone back to having something along those lines. Um, the car cruise has uh, a really neat prize that they will be um, holding a raffle for. So we have all kinds of exciting things still going on with Community Day and uh, BB Steel is going to be the uh, music. We have, um, we have the uh, a big slide and a train and um, we have ax throwing, which we've never had that before. <laughs> so uh, it will be monitored and it's a key for, is it 18 and above or 16 and above? Do you recall? Do you recall what the contract says? I think it's 16. I'm not sure. It's, 16, but we it's either, know. you have to be either 16 or 18 years old to participate in that. But we have plenty of things for, for younger people and other things for all ages. But as you can imagine, ax throwing is only going to be for, for older um, people and it, it will be safely monitored. So that's, that's a new one that we're getting. Um, so, and we're, we're going to have a lot of great things for people to, to enjoy and, and also the booths. So we're looking forward to everybody coming on September 9th. And then of course, after the, um, the Allegheny Brass Band, we have our fireworks. Yay. So that's, that's the big highlight always, because we always get such wonderful fireworks. Angela, how many booths do we have rented so far? Um, right now we have about 15. And then I'm expecting a couple more this week. Um, and I'm sure there's some that I don't know of yet. So. And we only have 22 to begin with, don't we? Of the ones that are provided, yes. Um, but some people aren't using that booth uh, if they want to provide their own. Um, okay, but it's very limited. So yes. if somebody wants a booth, they better call in and send their check in very quickly. It's a first come first serve and we will be out of them probably by the end of this week. So um, people need to do that. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? Do we know how much, how much of the booths? It depends. So the the cheapest one is seventy five dollars, okay, and then it goes up to two hundred. It depends on the type of business. Got it. Okay. And what time will it start now, Libby? Yeah. Or well, now it's starting at four. Oh, four. Four o'clock. Okay. Now there's no parade. Uh, the, the logistics just got out of. Well, it got to be too late. Okay, that's fine. Because mm -hmm. they have to, you know, hire all different people, oh, yeah. close the the road right you have to you know have various people monitoring that and yeah. just i know people are going to ask why so yeah i don't know logistics thank yep. you okay uh i can do the council items i was looking quick. to see if she was on uh, first of all i want to introduce angela o'connor yeah. she is our new part-time parks and rec person here at the town she will be um, handling special events and um, different parks and rec items um, I'm going to let her talk a little bit about that and new business, preferably, um, some of the things that she's got planned coming up. Um, and then also wanted to thank everybody who came out and participated in National Night Out. It was a success. Um, very nice. We got really great comments about National Night Out and um, hope to continue it. I attended. It was really very, very nicely run and had a a huge crowd there it was a great turnout and and nicely run so and i worked a nice evening yeah, i worked the booth um i my husband and i both volunteer every year because he's mm -hmm. on the personnel board but um i worked the 
the police booth and it was it was just a lot of mm -hmm. fun that we all just been and yeah so we had a great time Chief Hawk and Jen Packard and then June from their office mm -hmm. downstairs really do a great job of planning and coordinating that event so we really appreciate all they did and everybody got to meet the new uh K9 um Sur Surly Surly mm -hmm. yeah and um so everyone's looking forward to seeing the new things yeah, the new canine was very exciting for the town of McCandless. So <laughs> very exciting. It was a good event. I it attended was, as it well. It was so much fun. Good. Mm -hmm. I liked it. <clears throat> okay. Um, didn't see Abby on. Uh, the fitness court. Deb. Yeah. Um, well, I got in touch with uh, Dave Gray. He was traveling, so I was delayed a bit, but we're going to plan on having that family fitness court night and i'm just looking at my calendar so i got the date right he's looking at his calendar but i uh too but we tentatively it's not going to be a night i'm not exactly sure uh the time but i think it will be on the 16th or the 23rd of one August of those september. of september yeah okay um, and then we'll look perhaps to do another one in October. And it's totally uh, provide, going to be provided by Dave, you know, just as a um, outreach to the town. And he's very excited. Uh, he's lived here most of his life, I believe. So um, we'll look forward to that. Yes, he attended North Allegheny. Yes, so he he's did. lived here a very long time. And his, his, uh, camps are always just wonderful. They are They're really. He's a very really personable. Wonderful. Yes, uh, guy. So we'll look forward to that. Coach. So when you know the date, we'll we'll put that on the website, and mm -hmm. um, certainly by our next meeting, we'll we'll have the date down, and that'll that will certainly have a wonderful. What time uh, is it looking to do that? I don't have a time yet. I don't probably. even want to estimate. Yeah. Okay. okay. I don't know if it's morning or it'll be. I don't. Yeah. I probably don't. during the. Day he I'm thinking, does his thing yeah, during, the, during day. the day. I said, you know, yeah. evening, but I was thinking, yeah, that's what when you said he usually doesn't that. during okay. the day. No, I'm but, thinking, but, but you know, there, maybe he's volunteering. We don't yeah. know. Maybe he has well, a different you, one during the day. He and I will talk about it and we'll see, you know, yeah. maybe one of each. Well, know? we thank you because, because school is starting. We thought we would wait until after school started, after community day was over, and the weather's still nice. So we'll look uh, perhaps at October as well. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's he'd like to partner with the town on other things. So I think this is a, a good way to get an introduction. And then on the yoga, how many people are you averaging? I'd say a dozen and then 10 to 12. Um, Carolyn wants to potentially extend it through September if weather permits. Right. Well, if weather permits or if we can, you know, use an indoor space. But uh, I, my schedule this summer has been very busy on Saturdays. And she's done a great job. Carolyn has done a great job um, handling the event. Um, so I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Maybe we could last year what, when we started, we did, you know, in blocks of four four weeks so perhaps we could look at that again that sounds great it i don't i know i'm not mm -hmm. available on the ninth mm -hmm. um i have an event of my own and with the senior games and everything that was going on this summer i missed a few so if anybody else would like to attend that would be great you know just to help out um she does you know a yeah. fine job but when you're the teacher it's always nice to have uh, somebody to have an extra set of hands just to make sure everybody signs the waiver people have been very good about signing the waiver and checking in um good. you know it's just been a really and one woman sent me an email and uh she said this was life-changing for her <laughs> how nice it that really was, wow. she was very sincere and i can good. send that i'll send that around to all of you how nice and i took a show of hands this week to see how many people would attend if we moved indoors because last year it was so few, you know, it was only maybe um, three or four. So everyone, you know, at this point said, oh, yes, I'll go. <laughs> you know, so we'll see. You said if we do it in the four week blocks, that would yeah. be easy enough to mm -hmm. gauge whether or not we still have interest. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That works last year. For the Heritage and Cultural Center. Yeah, I did um, contact Abby, but it was a busy time and I haven't heard back from her. So I'll contact her again and see if, if they're still interested. There's so much going on there. I'm not sure. 
how um, you know easy it would be to provide the space. And I apologize, I don't have the date, but they do have an, the Heritage and Cultural Center because they weren't able to speak. They do have another um, drive-in movie coming up. They're doing right. the Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers. Do you remember what the date is on that movie? It's the 19th? 19th of August. Yeah. So um, I can find out. It's on the Facebook page. I know I just saw it today. I'll double check, but I don't remember what the date was. I apologize. And we've been setting aside uh, also for uh, yoga, you know, a little of the donations will be um, going to. Okay the hair or the library or you know we'll see how okay we'll, we'll do that because people have been um generous so Good. carolyn said let's let's split this up a little bit okay okay the senior olympics update yeah oh was, i sent those pictures around because two of the events occurred in mccandless so we share north park with nick Canless, and i always am proud of that and i get chills it was such a great event the 10K was over by the boathouse, and uh, then the 5K bike race was over here by Stonefield. So I, we're just so very fortunate to have this facility in our midst, and and it was used very well. And then all the rest of the events were all over Allegheny County, and um, it was it was an incredible event for the county and for Pittsburgh. We had a couple of the participants stop at Town Hall. I wanted to mention that to you. That oh, we're good. just looking for information on the panelists and different things. See? Was, yeah. Was yeah, yeah so even though, things to say. yeah, North Park is, you know, belongs to everyone in the county, but it's still McCandless. It still brought a lot of people here. And everybody said, where can I go for some refreshments afterwards? And I said, oh, I can tell you about that, you know. <laughs> Uh, we have lots of nice restaurants here. So it was nice. And I, I did participate. I was a participant. And so I got to enjoy um, the swimming and the triathlon. But unfortunately, they weren't. The triathlon was not in North Park this year. It was at um, Brady's Run, which is in Beaver County. So it's pretty far away. But but yeah, we did have some events here. Very nicely done. Hopefully, they'll come back again. We're only one of a very few cities that have had the senior Olympics here um, multiple times. So how, do, how old do you have to be? 50 or maybe 52, I think 50. 50. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, it's <laughs> tough competing against 50 year olds, <laughs> yeah. but no, it's all age group oriented. So you do compete against your own age group, but I, it was, it was tough training for those events. Sure. And you have to qualify. It's not something you can just jump into. And the Pan Am Games, just as an aside, is is in Cleveland next year. So it's a neighboring event. And they were advertising when they were here. So that should be exciting, too, because that's, you know, uh, the Western Hemisphere, <laughs> you know, the whole Western Hemisphere. But there were people from everywhere uh, in the United States and even Canada. Uh, I met some people from Trinidad. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's great. It was. It was an exciting event. So that's all. If anybody has any questions, just let me know. Okay, new business. Let me make sure you uh, talk about pickleball. Yeah, so I started um, Learn to Play Pickleball Sessions. Oh, great. Um, outside here. I originally posted just one day. Um, so two sessions, a morning session, evening session, and it immediately sold out. Mm -hmm. Um, so I opened up a second day, uh, a week later, the first one's Monday, uh, August 14th. I opened the second one Monday, the 21st, and that one also has now sold out. Oh, um, and it's with wow. at this population. point. Yeah. So and what's the cost for that? Um, for a resident, $10, 15 for a non-resident. I just had an inquiry about that. Um, the, I can't remember her last name. Her first name is Dana. Oh, I know Dana. Yeah, she's great. Dana K. I'm not sure. I think it also might be Kants, but anyway, she um she's involved in a lot of different pickleball groups. Yeah, so she mm -hmm. she's gonna be the instructor for all four of the sessions so far. Then I'm hoping to add on um now that I know it's in popular demand, I'm probably gonna add on another one and then hopefully run um some round robin events and things like that before it gets That's too cold. Good. Good. Yep. It's the fastest growing sport, I think. I, yeah, there's a, when we're done here, there are always people there. 
it's, yeah. and tennis too they're tennis it's daily we're so amazed since we've redone the courts how much activity the basketball tennis and pickleball have received mm-hmm. uh, great. there's people out there every day that's great and on the playground you know and then oh and after yoga i take people up to the fitness center i've done that too mm-hmm. so you know it's in, encourage people to Get fit for pickleball and going like up to the fitness center. <laughs> and the and fitness the improvements court. to Lorraine Rogers Park should be done, if not already, should be done soon. Um, they're putting in a sandbox and mm-hmm. some seating and some shade in that area. So um, just so people know up there near the tennis, I'm sorry, near the soccer field and the Heritage Center, there'll be additional recreation activities. Good. Wow. There. Wow. Makes this just a, a great town to live in. Is there any other new business? I, I just wanted to throw this out there. Um, if there is any chance, uh, just a thought, to put some bike uh, racks around some of our new facilities, the pickleball court, the fitness court. We've talked about it. It's already here for the budget. So. Awesome. Um, that would be lovely. Great. Thank you very much. Public comment. I'll just promote the Children's Gala that's happening in September. Tickets are now on sale. It'll be September 30th from 6 to 8 at the library. So it's a fun-filled evening for, it's a fundraiser, but it'll be aimed at kids. And it, the theme this year is Storybook Circus. Ooh, Storybook Circus. Can't wait for that. Sounds fantastic for the kids. So yes, Northland Library, it's coming up. We'll, we'll enjoy um, hearing and possibly participating in that. So everyone will, knows about that. Will you be at the community day again oh, yeah. this yes, year with the little story? Um, I don't know if you're doing a story or not. I'll have to check on that. Do you guys want a story mm-hmm. so Whatever you would like to do. Yeah, I think that was very well received. I saw what, whatever children. they would like to do. I'm sure they'll like have the people year. gathered mm-hmm. around and somebody will be reading or something. Yeah. I've had the kids. Um, any other public comment? Anything? Okay. Meeting adjourned. Is it a good time? That's awesome.